Dragging and dropping in the graphical scheduler is very easy. To change the times, you simply drag it to a new time. And it will apply all of the standard Business Central logic for changing the time. If you need to change it to a different work center or machine center, you can simply drag it to the new work center or machine center. And Business Central will reschedule appropriately. When you're dragging and dropping, you need to make sure that you have the ability to make changes to what you're dragging. If you want to restrict the view so that it's read only, you would click on View, Edit, and in the section where it says Configure with displays in this view, change the update mode from Allow Writes to Read Only. Now, if we try and drag and drop to a new time, we're going to get a message saying that the status source is configured to prevent changes, and if you'd like, you can make it writable later on. Now, what if you only want some information to be dragged? For example, maybe you want these simulated orders over here to be changed, but maybe you don't want these release production orders to be altered. To do that, let's edit our view. We're going to create a new data source. You can use any of these existing ones to start with, and you can also change it later on. So we're going to have one data source just for released orders. We're going to make that read only. We're going to allow writes to everything else. So to make sure that works, we're going to change the filter so that this does not show released. Otherwise, we might be seeing the same information twice. So we're going to find our status. And we're going to show simulated. So now we're going to be allowed to drag and drop simulated orders, and we're not going to be allowed to drag and drop released orders. Let's see that in action. So if I have a simulated order, I can drag and drop. And if I have a released production order, I'll get the error saying that it's read only. And that's how you drag and drop to different times and different work centers or different machine centers, and also how you can provide restrictions on what you can and cannot drag and drop. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.